Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel where we talk about skincare, grooming and sometimes hair care so if that sounds like your thing, please make sure you are subscribed. Probably about seven years ago now, I was struggling really, really bad with excessively oily skin. I also had a lot of leftover pigmentation and dark spots from um, acne and spots that I kind of picked out a lot. Then one day, one of my good friends came into work with a bottle of argan oil. I'd never heard of it before at this time. It was her sister's company. She was like, use this, it will change your skin it will change your life um, and her skin was amazing I noticed that her dark spots had gone she herself has oily skin and I noticed she never really had that glossy sweaty looking shine that I always had so I used it every night for about six months within about a week my oils weren't acting up like crazy like I could walk around the day without having to constantly block my skin and after about roughly six months I would say that pretty much all my dark spots had completely disappeared and this whole revelation is kind of when I really got into using oils in my skincare routine so it's a very, very common misconception that if you've got oily skin, you shouldn't use oils. I think that's a question I get daily. And not just you guys with oily skin. In fact, today I'm going to be covering my favorite oils for all skin types. But first, when and how do you use an oil? Although different oils kind of have different properties um, and different kind of finishes on your skin, if we can call it that, they kind of have one very common thing in common, and that is moisture. I personally would only use an oil in the evening because it doesn't look great on skin, let's be honest. Whether it's a dry oil or not, it still has that kind of like excessive shine that you don't really want. You know, there's glowing and then there's kind of like shine. But I also feel if you're using them at night, it gives the oils a chance to do what they need to do instead of being outside of all those environmental factors like the wind, pollution. Usually I might swap out my moisturizer for an oil, but it's actually usually best if you use oils in conjunction with a moisturizer. There's no real reason why you have to skip one if you're using them in the evening. So whether that's a few drops in your moisturizer or over the top of your moisturizer, it's recommended that you use both. And always as a final step, so even if you did want to use it out in the day, you can use it over an SPF. But I I just don't see why you'd want to. I, I think that feeling on your skin would be like, oh. But if you did want to use it during the day, use um, after an SPF, so not in conjunction with. So don't go mixing oils in with your sunscreen. Um, use over the top of, and that does include a moisturizer with built-in SPF. Don't mix up oils with that. Just use it over the top of that. So as your final step and use them as much as you feel like your skin wants it, basically. So let's start with argan oil, one of my favorites, as I've already mentioned. So argan oil is taken from the nuts of the Moroccan argan tree. It has great soothing and moisturizing properties. So argan oil actually contains essential fatty acids as well as vitamin E and antioxidants as well. So it's actually really good for people with irritated skin, easily irritated skin, eczema, and it is quite a lightweight oil. I think it's kind of like described as a dry oil that sinks in fairly quickly into the skin, although again, I wouldn't recommend wearing this as a moisturizer throughout the day, especially if you're oily, you just won't enjoy it. But as I mentioned, the main reason I used argan oil was because of my excessively oily skin. So argan oil contains oleic acid, which is an essential fatty acid that actually helps balance out natural sebum production. So when applied to your skin, not only does it help um, moisturize your skin, but it's also going to help um, balance out that excess sebum, that excessively oily skin. It's got a very nutty aroma to it though, I must say. You kind of smell it when and it goes on, but you get used to it. I think like after a week of using it, I didn't really think it had a smell. But yeah, I love this. Um, this is not the brand I usually use. I usually use Organic, which as I mentioned is my friend's sister's brand. I really trust the source of Organics and where it comes from, but yes, very, very good. Next up, we have one of the most requested from you guys. You've been requesting it for months and months. And I'm so sorry if I only just got round to it. Actually, maybe even this time last year, you guys started asking for a review on it, but this is 100% Organic Cold Pressed Rose Hip Seed oil. I think it's become really popular in the last year. So rosehip oil comes from the seed of a very specific rose, um, usually found in Turkey? Was it Turkey? Somewhere. And it's extracted via the cold press method, hence the name. So rosehip oil is packed with essential fatty acids and contains vitamin E, C, and D. Rosehip oil has a very, very impressive checklist of what it can do, including fighting free radicals, reducing dark spots, hydrating the skin, restoring elasticity, removing dead skin cells. So a lot of people are using um, rosehip oil as an anti-aging product basically. It, it really does do a lot. Rosehip oil actually contains linoleic acid as well which is essential for ceramides which help forms our skin's barrier. So I actually really got into this when um, my skin was very damaged and irritated. 
severely dehydrated. So this really kind of helped rebuild that structure and help kind of bring that nice plump moisturized feeling back into my skin. Rosehip oil also contains a very high concentration of vitamin C and A. So a lot of people are calling it kind of nature's retinol. And I think that's why it's really like become popular is because people are calling it like a natural alternative. Rosehip oil is considered a dry oil that sinks into skin very, very quick. And again, although people with oily skin may not like to, you can use it as a daily moisturizer, but it's perfect to add into your moisturizer and use overnight. So yeah, argan oil really is great for people with dry skin, combination skin, and oily skin as well. So people with dehydrated skin or people who are wanting to start fighting the signs of aging might enjoy rosehip oil. And I just want to say as well, I hate the smell of rose and this doesn't smell like, um, you know, like cosmetic-y rose. I thought it would, it doesn't. Um, next up, jojoba oil. One that I've spoke about quite a few times on my channel throughout the years. But guess what? We've been lied to. Jojoba oil isn't actually an oil. It's actually a wax ester, but obviously as you can see, like, well, you probably can't see that, but the consistency is of course like an oily liquid. So you'll sometimes hear it be called jojoba wax or jojoba oil. It's interchangeable really. But because it's an extract made up of liquid wax esters, the oil's chemical makeup is um, the most similar, basically, to our skin's natural sebum. So because jojoba oil is similar to our skin structure, you'll find that it could almost mimic it, if that makes sense. So if you overproduce oil, it can help dissolve oil. Whereas if you underproduce oils, it can help replicate. So you have dry skin, it's gonna help your skin be less dry. If you have oily skin, it's gonna help out with that sebum production again. Jojoba oil is also a great emollient. So again, you can use it as a moisturizer during the day, but yeah, not everyone's gonna love this on their face during the day. And it's really cheap as well. I think it's one of the most affordable ones. I think this little thing here was two pounds or something like that, but um, obviously I'll link it all in the description box down below. So as far as skin types goes, it's great for everyone. Next up, hemp seed oil. I'm gonna be honest, I haven't used a lot of this. Hemp seed oil is extracted using a cold press method from hemp seeds. But no, it's not an extract from the cannabis plant. It's not drugs, basically. <laughs> hemp seed oil is actually great for moisturizing even the driest of skins without overclogging up your pores. And is again another oil that can help regulate sebum production. I feel like this is a general trait throughout with oils. In turn, helping to reduce acne, blackheads, clogged pores, all that kind of stuff that is a result of excess sebum. Hemp seed oil actually contains omega-6 fatty acids as well, including gamma-linoleic acids, and this is kind of known as like a very good anti-inflammatory, which encourages new cell generation as well. So very, very good for irritated skin, itchy and inflamed skin. And that's all I really know, to be honest, when it comes to hemp seed. I haven't used it all that much. Um, not because it's bad or anything, but you guys wanted me to try hemp seed, um, jojoba, and rosehip oil, and just out of those three, the, the jojoba and the rosehip I preferred. So much more and obviously I love argan oil anyway but yeah I'm not gonna chuck it or anything it's a great one to have at hand so yeah it's great for acne prone skin um, as well as oily skin dry skin and again not much of a smell it's a little bit like um, crackers no <laughs> I mix it with too many oils whenever I put it on it always reminds me of like a savory product and I don't know what so please don't be afraid to try oils especially if you have oily skin I promise you, I swear on my life and my grave that if you have oily skin, oils are gonna help so, so much. It honestly changed my life. And I say that with the utmost truth and honesty. I went from being excessively, annoyingly oily to the point where it would bother me, where I'd have to like go to the toilet every 30 minutes to use blotting paper on my skin, to not having to worry about it, it at all. Within the space of like two, a week, two, one to two weeks, my skin had completely changed. And obviously that balance of sebum reproduction from then on just helped my skin in so many other ways. So. I beg you, if you have oily skin, to try out oils. This is the only time you're ever gonna see me beg, but please. So yes, this was a, such a highly requested video from you guys. It only took a year to do. But if you have anything else you want to see video-wise, please leave it in the description box down below. I get all my ideas from you guys. I pretty much only do like requested videos now. If there's enough people wanting the same topic, um, but that is it for me now, guys. I will see you next time. An oil as a beard oil. By now you know how natural this product is and it also contains a lot of vitamin E and antioxidants which is great for hair, hair of any kind. Where my beard's looking a little bit unruly when I've got a few bits, you know, poking out, um, I'll be using this just to kind of smooth everything down. Uh